Welcome to the weekly update for Navigation Alerts. I'm putting this out on Sunday, November 6th, so that you'll have it in time for before the trading day uh, starts on Monday. Quick housekeeping item. Um, Navigation Alerts is now going to incorporate two different trade alert services. One is Income Alerts, and that's what you're currently subscribed to. That, so that's going to incorporate a lot of the income strategies that I teach in my courses from strangles, straddles, iron condors, calendars, butterflies, those type of income strategies. And so Navigation Alerts is, is going to incorporate what's called Income Alerts, which you're subscribed to. And then coming soon, we're going to release another alert service called Money Flow Alerts. And those are more directional trades, and you can read more about that on our website. So let's get started and go through our current portfolio. The, the first position I want to look at is eBay. And this is a position that we put on back on October 19th, the day before earnings. And, and it really had a big move against us uh, to the downside, and it's continued just to grind lower. So we ended up making an adjustment. We rolled down our calls to collect more credit, and we're right around our break even here on the downside. So early next week, we will probably either take this off for a break even or a small profit. If we can get a little bit of a bounce to the upside, we'll probably get out of this trade at a break even, which anytime you make an adjustment on a strangle, that's really what you're looking to do is, is to get out at a break even or get out with a small profit. So that's what we'll look to do next week. The next position is EWW. This is a trade that we put on back on October 13th. And we've seen continued uh, increase in implied volatility. As you can see here, the IV rank and the IV percentage continue to stay pinned around 100 and, and really in, in anticipation for the upcoming election. So. We haven't gotten our contraction in implied volatility to this point. Uh, so you can see we're still right centered where we want to be on the trade. However, we need a contraction in volatility uh, as we get closer to expiration so we can take this trade off for a profit. Next trade, GLD. And GLD is a trade that we put on on November 2nd. It's an iron condor. You can see we're down about $30 on the trade again we're just continuing to put these positions on as we see this implied volatility spike higher and higher and higher. You're never going to be able to time it exactly, so we're in a we're in a good position there. Still very very centered in our iron condor, waiting for that contraction in implied volatility. IWM, we've seen a little bit of downside here, but we're we're up about twenty five dollars on this trade, and this is a position that we put on back on October twentieth. And so kind of the same story, just high implied volatility. This is perfect timing to put on these types of income trades because we're receiving a much larger credit because the options are more expensive in anticipation of the, of the election. Then we got QQQ. This is one we just put on Friday. Uh, it had a little bit of a, a move up, so we're just slightly down on that, but fairly centered. So we'll continue to wait on that one. And SPY. Uh, this is a trade that we just put on late to, uh, late last week as well. So we're just right there. We just put it on. So right there at, at no profit, no loss so far, waiting for that contraction in implied volatility. TLT, which is the bond ETF, pretty much the same story. Implied volatility again, you know, extremely high. Great time to be putting on these trades. And then we've got XBI, which we put a strangle on. We put this on uh, back on 1027, and same story. We're just adding positions as the implied volatility goes higher, waiting for some contraction there, and same story with XLU. So all of our positions are in really good shape. They're they're really centered where they need to be, and so we'll just continue to see what happens next week, and hopefully we can take off some winners and potentially put on some additional trades as well. Hope this was helpful and we'll see you at the next video.